dun, dun, dun. Hi everybody, lesson 18, eight, the coordinate plane. If you're reviewing this lesson, good for you because we already taught it in class. Otherwise, you may have been sick, but today we're going to talk about lesson 18, which is the coordinate plane. I want you to know my notes are on my webpage, so if you want to take a time out, stop and print out my notes so you know what I'm going to write, I would do so. Okay. First of all, we're going to talk about the distance formula and midpoint formula. So after this lesson, you should be able to say, I can find the distance between two points and the midpoint of two points using formulas. So I'm going to do uh, two formulas and two examples of each one. All right, the first formula we're going to talk about is this thing called the distance formula. And you should have this distance formula written inside your vocab packet. And the distance formula says the distance between two points, A and at x sub 1, y sub 1, and b with coordinates x sub 2, y sub 2, is given by this formula. d for distance equals the square root of the quantity x2 minus x1 squared plus the quantity y2 minus y1 squared. So what I've done is I've come up with my own special trick to help me remember the distance formula, and I call it the sleeping man dude. Why do I call it the sleeping man dude? Because basically, I remove these variables out of the formula, and it looks like what I call the sleeping man. So I have his two eyes, and they're sleeping. He has a nose, which is a plus sign between them. He's got two eyebrow piercings, literally a two. And he has a crazy headband. And this is called the Sleepy Man Dude. I'm going to show you how I use the Sleepy Man Dude in my next two examples. Okay, I'm going to clear my ink and go to the next two examples. Okay, for these two examples, we're going to find the distance between R and S. Uh, R is given the point negative 2, 6, and S is given the coordinates of 6, negative 2. So anytime they say find RS, this is a fancy way of saying, which means find the length or the distance of RS, I'm going to use the sleeping man dude. So here's my dude. I'm going to make his two eyes. He's sleeping. Here's his nose between them. He has two eyebrow piercings and a crazy headband. Okay, now how do you know what goes in what? The X's, or the first numbers, go in the first eye. First numbers go in the first eye. So this is negative 2, and this is 6. The Y's, or the second numbers, these go in the second eye. So I put 6 and negative 2 in the second eye. So these numbers get split. The first numbers go in the first eye. The second numbers go in the second eye. Now I'm going to simplify this. So I'm going to do parentheses first, negative 2, subtract 6 is negative 8 squared, plus 6 subtract negative 2. Two negatives make a positive 8 squared. Don't forget the headband or the square root sign. Negative 8 squared means negative 8 times negative 8, which is 64, plus 8 times 8 is also 64. This is equal to the square root of 128. And if you type in the square root of 128 on your calculator, you will get approximately 11.3 for an answer. So the distance between R and S is 11.3 units, so I would write RS is approximately 11.3 and circle it. Okay, I want you to try to do the same thing for number two, so I would put it on pause and try to do this problem yourself. And then when you're done, unpause it, and I'll solve the problem as well, so you can watch me solve it. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do my setup. So here's his sleeping eyes and his nose, two eyebrow piercings, and his headband. I'm going to put the first numbers, negative 4 and 5, in the first eye. I'm going to put the second numbers, negative 1 and 2, 
in the second eye, and I'm going to simplify this. This is negative 9 squared plus negative 3 squared. Don't forget his headband. This is giving me 81 plus 9. Here's his headband. 81 plus 9 is 90, and the square root of 90 is approximately 9.5. So the length of AB is approximately 9.5. Okay, there's one more formula and two examples we're going to continue to go through. So if you have this, great. I'm going to take this ink off and go to my next page. This is my last page. Um, we're going to do using the midpoint. So you need to pause the video. Go ahead and write the midpoint formula down and write down these examples to get yourself ready to do the problem. Um, the midpoint formula says the coordinates of the midpoint, they're going to call capital M, of segment AB, given A and B, is it this, fo this formula, M for midpoint equals the quantity of X sub 1 plus X sub 2 all over 2, comma, the quantity of Y sub 1 plus Y sub 2 all over 2. Now don't forget, this means, in other words, you add the two x's together and divide that answer by 2. Then you add the two y's together and divide that answer by 2. Don't forget to put parentheses around your answers because you are finding an actual point. So you're going to need an ordered pair. All right. Now, to give you an example, I'm going to set up my midpoint formula. What I do is I literally remove these variables and I write my formula. So when it says for A, B to find the midpoint, here's what I do. This is going to be my ordered pair. I know I'm going to divide by 2 and I'm going to add the numbers. This is what I call the setup. Now, just like in the distance formula, same thing. My first numbers go in the first spot. So I'm going to put 8 and negative 6 in the first spot. My second numbers, 9 and negative 3, go in the second spot. Now all I have to do is simplify this. I'm going to start here. 8 plus negative 6 is negative 2. 9 plus negative 3 is 6. Don't forget to put your parentheses around it. I can still simplify this. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3. This is my midpoint. And I'm done. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with ST. I know that the start means I have to do my setup. There's twos underneath and plus signs above it. Now I'm going to fill in what I know. My first numbers, negative 5 and 3, go in the first spots. My second numbers, 6 and 8, go in the second spots. I'm ready to simplify and do my math. This is equal to negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2 over 2, comma, 6 plus 8 is 14 over 2. Simplifying further, negative 2 over 2 is negative 1, 14 over 2 is 7. Folks, I just realized as I'm doing this problem, I made a mathematical error. Um, 8 plus negative 6 is positive 2. So that should be a positive, and positive 2 divided by 2 is positive 1. My mistake. Sorry about if that, if that confused you. So I should have positive 1, 3 for midpoint and negative 1, 7 for my second midpoint. Okay, folks, I want to say thank you for listening. If you listen to this one more time, I hope you have a fabulous night, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.